Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros. Fake news, the realest fake news that's ever been presented to other humans. For really reals. Hey, we should probably get an actual song at some point instead of the Hans Zimmer song that you're humming. <laughs> uh, again, we paid a lot of money for that song. I so, like it. Yeah, the, the investment we've made into Hans Zimmer and his works and licensing his yeah. fine works. I mean, not just uh, financially, but also emotionally. Sure. Like, we've become really good friends. A lot of people don't know this, but we hang out with Hans Zimmer almost every day. Oh. Dude, he party. We went tubing with him last weekend in Havasu. So that was a fun time. Do you remember Jared's idea for Havasu, do you remember this shit? Like he wants to get two small cars and he wants to make one of them like a giant paper mache ass. Yeah. And the other one a giant paper mache dick and then that dick chases the ass through town. <laughs> yeah. And then finally <laughs> at the end of the, Yeah. Finally at the end of the parade he, the dick runs into the ass. Yep. And then something pours it like runs oh. out of it or some shit. Oh. Yeah. Not like cum. I mean like people. But people. Oh, oh, oh. Or, or blood. Or spiders or whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Spiders are in buttholes, right? You know about buttholes. Or chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you know about like taints. A, sorry, what? Taints. Taints, buttholes, vaginas, yep. cunts, yep. pussies. <laughs> yeah. You know about all of them. Wait, I yep. thought you didn't like Boobs. to say pussy. I don't. Say it she again. She hates it. <laughs> Make her say it. Make <laughs> her say it. It sounds weird, <laughs> like she's pronouncing another language. Pussy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jared will be it. in studio next week. Yeah, we for think. several days. Well, well we unless... think. When it's Jared, you should not tease it out too far. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. But they know him well enough at this point, right? Yeah. They know he will. Not maybe. until the plane actually lands. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Uh, so. When you spontaneously marry a porn star, your friends start to question you. Well, I like Weird it. how that works. You I'm what? into it. I'm into it. Speaking oh, sure, of questioning, sure, sure. Jeffrey Epstein died completely... Normal. Nothing wrong with anything that happened there. Uh, oh, I can't think of one reason why he would hang himself or be killed. Can you, D'Anthony? No. I mean, it's, it boggles the mind, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Normal dude. Totally normal, yeah. Nothing going on. Wasn't definitely, friends with anyone. Well, he definitely didn't know anything secret or personal about anybody else. No, nope. Not sure us. Yeah, he got murdered. So anyways. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah, is that your honest opinion that he got murdered? Do you murdered? really think that? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. I, yeah. I, so I can't, I can't tell. You, you and I were talking about this. Either someone said, hey, you've got to fucking kill yourself and we're going to give you this window of time. Yeah. Or someone came in and murdered him. The, 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 the problem I have with the murder theory is this. There is cameras outside of the cell. Not mm-hmm. inside. You can't see what was going on in there, obviously. But that's normal. It, right. That's normal. If somebody murdered him, there would be footage no. of him going inside if the it's cell. A, if it's an inside job, then, then uh, and it would have to be. Uh, if, you're, if, you're, if your premise is that he got murdered, it has to be an inside job. It's the only way it works. Right. Like a, a, an inmate's not going to have keys to the place. But a, a small piece of hardware with the right kind of software on it can fucking loop that, that uh, closed circuit TV easy, man. This is like that shit's been going on forever. It's not very difficult to do that kind of stuff. Technology's there. Or? Technology's not there, and it's exploitable, and that's why. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I, that, that part, to me, is a non-factor at all. Uh, so the footage, you don't want to see at all? Cause I, to don't me, no. I don't care. I don't care, no. To no. me, I, it will if tell you, you showed nothing. that and there was nobody out there, I'd be like, eh, all right. Yeah, but again, like he's saying, you can't really trust that. But there, was, there had to have been some log, and you would know about this better than me, right? Mm-hmm. That uh, a jailer, I, I, I don't know if that's from fucking Andy Griffith or... They're uh, definitely that's actually not the, called still the jailers, term. but yeah. Uh, they're prison, called jailers. Prison guard. Yeah, prison they're, guard. they're called jailers. Um, the skeleton mm. keys they probably still <laughs> use. Um, one would think that there's got to be a log where you have to sign in that said, hey, I checked on yeah, s- they faked cell them. block fo- I, forward a so, certain time. So the two guards, this is the story right now. One, here, let's run through a couple of details. One, we know that the protocols for post-suicide watch, including that he would be uh, checked on every 30 minutes. This is after being on suicide watch. He still gets checked on every 30 minutes. Okay. He's in a cell without the proper equipment, for lack of a better phrase, to ha- kill himself. And supposedly, how long supposedly. does that go on, the, the checking every 30 minutes? Uh, it's supposed to go on 
in the what? perpetuity, basically. If the whole time after? Yeah. 24 hours, right? Yeah, I mean, that's their job. It's not like a, a burden to them. That's what they're supposed to be doing. I know. I'm just saying if you're taken off Suicide Watch, my question would be how long do you have to be on the 30 well, he's, minutes until they go back to... Right. Uh, I don't know about that. Right. I can't speak to that definitively, okay. but... Uh, he had just been taken off. Yeah, so. he had just been taken off. The other part of that is that you you are mandated to have a cellmate because people are less likely to try and kill themselves if there's another guy in the room, mm-hmm. right. apparently. Um, and now we know that this motherfucker, like they pulled the cellmate out. I mean, just the timeline of events is so sketchy. The documents get released. Several hours later, they pull his cellmate for still as yet unknown re- reasons. Mm-hmm. And three hours go by without the guards checking them. They faked their log entry saying they did check, but they didn't because they were sleeping, supposedly. And then he's dead. Like, come on, man. That's too many things that happened. There's too many coincidences that happened that led to this shit. I don't believe that. Look, uh, I agree with you. I think something happened, uh, but I don't know what it was. Uh, whether somebody came in and said, hey, man, these documents just came out. Because he, 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 he wouldn't know. He doesn't have access have to known, the internet. No. Um, no. Uh, so there was another report that this had happened before with some other guard Mm. or some Turkish gold fucking money. Did you hear that? Mm. And another inmate was killed, (laughs) um, mysteriously as well. I wonder if, if somebody had gone in and paid them off and said, Hey man, go in and do this or X, Y, and Z. I, I don't know with this one, but the, to me, I think all of this is too late now that the feds have all this evidence that it was over a million pages. Yeah. It seems like hour by hour, day by day, more shit keeps getting leaked yeah. from this case and from him as a person. Today there was uh, tapes of him on the island being interviewed or about to be interviewed and they were rolling before and he was talking about his lifestyle and how you know he, he didn't understand uh, why he couldn't live his life a certain way when he owned this island and right. other shit. Uh, there's other reports out there that he's- Pedophile written- island? Or, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that he's written detailed uh, journals about his interactions with all these fucking people that he's worked with over the years. Um, was, I would have a hard time believing that those wouldn't come out. The feds raided the island. Why would you that, have a hard time ago? believing they wouldn't come out? Oh, that, 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 that someone would, be, would seal these away? Yeah. I don't think today, with how valuable information is, like WikiLeaks and all this mm-hmm. other shit, right? That financially or monetarily, there is nothing to gain from this because now if you're, let's say there's something in these journals about Bill Clinton or the Clintons, hypothetically, because I don't want to be killed on the show during the show. It's, we're live on YouTube and I don't want to be killed during this, right? Okay. Um, what's to stop someone from the right, right? Republicans mm-hmm. from paying top dollar for this. Because during the election, you're trying to get dirt on everybody and you're paying top dollar for any fucking right. thing you can get your hands on. Yeah, this, for sure. It's opposition research. Yes. Yeah. So I think most of this shit will come out. It's too high, it's too high profile. Uh, look, Kennedy has been dead for 55, 56 years now. Yeah. And we still don't know what the fuck happened. So I think the bigger the case is, the less likely we are to get all the information. Honestly, particularly when there's people in power right now, there's federal judges who are appointed by certain presidents. There's a sitting president right now who has interests of his own. Mm -hmm. Um, And I just don't I don't trust the government to release accurate information any more than I trust them to tell me who should and shouldn't own a firearm, for example. Right. Because I think anybody that gets in a position of power like that is going to abuse that power at some point. And look. If if Donald Trump knows there's something about him and and that shit, it's never gonna see the light of day. I guarantee fucking you that. Correct. That shit's probably getting destroyed right now. I'm not saying there is, by the way. I don't know. Well, so I don't. He, I don't think there is because he just doesn't come off as that kind of guy, to be honest. No, and to that point, <clears throat> um, well, I mean, he's talking about grabbing people by the pussy, but whatever, man. But uh, like, he's talking about grabbing women. adults ladies. Yeah. by the pussy, ladies, yeah, women, ladies, not little girls, little kids. Yeah, um, because he's got kids, obviously. But yeah, he, even he's been retweeting some of these conspiracy theories. Yeah, which is interesting. So that leads he me likes to believe to keep you on your toes. <laughs> well, but it also leads me to believe that he's got nothing to do with it because otherwise, you would want to kill that yeah. and not deal with any of that shit. But to me, this could be the Republicans' Russia hoax, where. You could keep this fucking thing going that it just keeps eating up the news. The more and more that it's out there, the less and less 
people care about the actual candidates who are running yeah. from the <laughs> Democratic side. And, you know, quietly today, Elizabeth Warren just took the lead in Iowa. And that's fucking buried, bro. Uh, you're talking about bones being broken in a, uh, you know, which bone and why was, was broken and why this is leaning more toward murder. Like, that's dominating the headlines rather than Elizabeth Warren taking the lead over Joe Biden in Iowa. Like, mm-hmm. I don't trust either story. Which, uh, <laughs> oh, that, that she's in the lead? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Uh, what I do know is uh, somebody took a screenshot inside Epstein's mansion of Bill Clinton painted in the White House wearing Monica Lewinsky's dress in high heels. Yeah, that's heels. pretty rad. Um, what the fuck is that? I don't know. It's man. abstract. It's, it's art. It's, it's interesting. I mean, look it up. I'm assuming that uh, that um, they're bros. That he knows about it. Clinton has seen it. Probably he's been to that island, right? Uh, look, supposedly, yeah. That's right? the other thing yeah, too. Yeah, is yeah. The, you know, you got that Lolita sex plane. Yeah. The rumor it started off as a rumor from what they thought was from Alex Jones, right? Alex Jones was hammering down oh, Lolita plane. They're all on there. They're all having sex on there. And he was right, apparently. He was right. And th- now the logs have come out, and Clinton's name was on the the, the log for for this particular plane twenty nine times. So, was it a mixed use? Yeah, yeah, plane, exactly. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. I, I don't know anything. But I, again, day by day, hour by hour, more information keeps yeah. coming out. I mean, the neck breaking thing is a big deal because only 25% of people who get strangled, or I'm sorry, who, uh, who hang themselves mm-hmm. have this bone in the front of their neck broken. So that makes it, I mean, just statistically speaking, that's not a conspiracy theory. It's statistically more likely that he was strangled by someone else from behind. That's how you break. That's how this gets broken. Not by strangling yourself. I mean, if you did, there, there's several types of hanging. One is a high drop. It's a five foot drop, basically. Okay. And it's what you see in westerns and shit like that. They put a noose around your neck that has a slip knot on it, and you get, uh, you fall, and the the breaks torque your neck. breaks your neck, right? And then you you go brain dead within a couple of minutes, but you go unconscious immediately. It's supposed to be the more humane version. Then there's a short drop, like a little stool or something, right? And you strangle to death. Typically. So you're just like gasping for air and trying yeah. to like... Yeah, and that one usually doesn't break any bones. Sometimes it breaks this one, sometimes, but like you said, that's rare. Uh, not rare, but 25%. I mean, that's not that high. Uh, and then there's actual strangulation, and that's where someone is applying graduated force. It's not constant. It's not like I... It's not like the wire where homeboy puts the fucking... Uh, uh, how they tried to fake it. You put the belt around his neck and then lean him forward. That shit doesn't break your fucking this bone right here. And that's how most people sh- kill themselves. So uh, I, I just don't, I don't believe. And so if any it's of from shit. the bed, he's having to like sit down. He's got a single story bed, right? Gr- so it's like, yeah, there's, it's, not, it's not bunk beds like, and, and yeah. a thing like that. It's two beds mm-hmm. on either side of the thing. And uh, so he's, there's nothing high for him to hang himself on. I always on. thought it was bunk beds. It's not. Not, not for a room like that, no. Not, not for, uh, what so do you call it? So then how did he do it? I mean, yeah. he, well, that, that's well, a good question. It could have been on the bars. Maybe they're a little higher, but I don't know. Uh, but usually in those uh, protective custody, at least the pictures I've seen, because I've been looking at pictures the last couple of days, mm-hmm. maybe a drinker bro who's a prison guard can chime in on this on the, on the comments on YouTube. But the, the ones I've seen for protective custody are single beds next to each other. Okay. Um, at any rate... I, I wonder if a drinking bro was actually, is actually working in that cell. And the reason why I say this is, <clears throat> remember the Aaron Hernandez one? Yeah. We had set it on air, and the guard, he called in, I think, yeah. less than 12 hours after the show came out and was working, and yeah. he gave us the full <clears throat> one on all that shit. Yeah, I mean, he was in a cell with somebody else, right? He was in a cell with somebody else. I think there was double yeah. bed. And sure he, he like put soap down or something and so that he couldn't yeah. Yeah. stand up. He, he wasn't the, a, uh, yeah, you'll fight it naturally. But he was you'll by fight himself. it like your body yeah. will so, yeah. push yeah. you up. It does um, not want to die. But he was, I mean, Epstein was by himself too and shouldn't have been, mm-hmm. right? Um, none of this stuff makes a whole lot of sense to me, to be honest. Um, there's other stuff too, like the mistress, Maxwell. Yes. So his num- Epstein's number two, she was at Chelsea Madam. Clinton's wedding. Yes. Why? Like, I, I understand Epstein being at these events, but how did he explain who this woman was to people such that he, 
she got invited to like one of the highest profile weddings in America in a very long time. Yeah, when I saw the picture, they knew of that. who she was, and then she was also a socialite in her own right. But yeah, got it. She was also kind of hot, like you know. Well, she was British, and she was very like refined, and yeah, she she got in there. They were a package deal. So if you do see her somewhere, mm-hmm. I think the people that invited her mm-hmm. knew exactly who she was. Do you know what I'm saying? You would have to think that, and then because you'd be like, "Oh, who is this?" So the next question is, she's a how long is she well. going to be alive? So that was my question on the on our emergency pod yeah. podcast yeah. for this was she's got to be next, right? She has to be next. That was my prediction, but at the same time. She got, I think she got granted immunity in the last case that was first against her. It's not about immunity, though. It's oh, no, I mean, getting suicided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, that's what I'm saying. So she they found her actually right in this like remote island with a tech CEO because they are looking for her. Oh, they did find her. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know that either. And yeah, that because that, that that was also mysterious to me was. You and then know, they started. Consp- if you can't find her, why not just not be able to find her forever? Yeah. I mean, look. If somebody found her before the government did, she would be dead. I imagine. Yeah. Um, and look, like what you're saying about the the government already having those documents, unless it's actual audio and video recording of people's voices and faces, those documents don't mean shit. Like, they may make someone look bad in public, but they're not going to result in any crimes unless you have somebody to corroborate that story yeah. and draw a timeline. Epstein being dead kills all of that unless Maxwell testifies, and they know that, dude. Yeah. Who, if anybody had anything to do with his death and it's not just suicide, that woman is going to die very soon. Yeah, I, I don't know where she is currently or where she will be, but, uh, man, if I were her, yeah. I wouldn't be having a great Thursday right now. Yeah, well, that was my question when this all first came out. I'm like, where is this girl? Because she has got to be fucking shitting her pants. Her pants right now, yeah. 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 Her pants suit. Because a, a, a lot of this info that is coming out is, is more geared toward the Clintons. Um, it is so far. And I don't know if that's because, um, I mean, definitely the press is not more pro-Trump than they are pro-Clinton. That's not true, right? Uh, they've coddled her for the most part over the last six to eight years, and he's been hammered every day. Well, relentlessly, yeah. Um, and, I mean, obviously the right-wing press is going to be hard on the Clintons, but maybe it's just because the, <clears throat> the right has its shit together a little more when it comes to propaganda. Like, maybe that's why. But I don't hear shit. Like, I, the only thing I hear about Trump, I see one doctored picture of him. Have you seen that? It's him and Epstein and some girl, but it's not a real picture. Somebody actually yeah, somebody's a little kid it. or something. Yeah, yeah. It got photoshopped. That, that picture's not real. Actually, yeah. uh, what's his name? Rappaport posted it yesterday. He did, yeah. Like, it's a real thing. Like, dude, you've got millions of fucking followers, and at least half of them who agree with you politically now think that's real. You're a piece of shit for posting that. And did not, he, he didn't did say he take it, it down? Joke. I don't know if he took it down or not, but that's a real fucked up thing to do. Like, this is a fake news show and all, but we're not trying to spread disinformation. Yeah, it's, it's strange to me where, mm-hmm. you know, we're in an era now of this deep fake yeah. Right. Every, everything is a, a deep fake. You know, you could put voices to other people's sh- mouths and uh, look to Photoshop pictures. Super easy. It's not very difficult. No, no. Um, so I didn't know that was fake, actually. Yeah, I really didn't. That I, what? That, 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 the, the photo that uh, Rappaport posted. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, um, I mean, that's look, I'm, I'm kind of with Charles Barkley. Like we do a lot of fucked up shit on this show. So we're not role models by any stretch of the imagination. But if you're talking to millions of people a day like we are yeah you can't fucking say shit like that or do shit like that you can't you can't stand behind incorrect shit i mean if you if you, we may as well just go work for cnn if we're going to do that you know Blame what i mean them. they're going to be looking that. for a couple anchors soon so uh, i don't think so <laughs> i, I want to address that right quick so over the weekend don lemon got accused of sexual assault by some dude in a club yes happened a year ago i think uh so yeah allegedly yep I, we're not going to get into it because we don't know what the facts are yet, and we're not Don Lemon. If this, if it was Don Lemon on this show right now, and it, it was uh, like some fucking, if it was like Tucker Carlson, he would be like Tucker Carlson's a piece of shit rapist. Yeah, fuck exactly. you, Don Lemon. Even if you didn't do this shit, fuck you anyway. We're even going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that shit happens guy, every fucking I, I day. I think the guy's full of shit, to be honest, because he went in reverse. He went for the money first, and then 
the criminal charges. Right. So the guy sued him for money first, and Lemon told him to go fuck himself. Right. And uh, now he's trying to pursue criminal charges. So usually that happens in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Like with OJ, for example. Yeah. When you're trying to extort money out yeah. of people. I, I think he's. I think he's just a fucking cash grab guy. Honestly. Look, there's a, lot, there's a lot of them out here, but yes, you're correct. We're not going to fucking speculate, even though it's Don Lemon and we fucking hate Don Lemon. I don't hate him because he's, uh, for anything he believes even, it's just the way he presents it. Like that, did you see that piece he did? I think it was a week and a half ago, and it was about Trump. Well, Trump didn't actually encourage or tell anybody to do this, and yeah, he did condemn condemn it but you could like imagine if he didn't or you could imagine right. how somebody yeah, might, yeah, yeah. you could imagine how somebody right, might right, hear right. what he said and do something like that's not that's how the burden of proof works there guy yeah but Come he's on. not look they're not in the burden of proof business anymore no you're in the business of entertainment yo, and yeah ratings. yeah big time within the last two months cnn is ta- even like more so than usual i've noticed them take a sharp turn to the left yeah. And, and some of it is even conspiratorial. Like, they used to be pretty solid on the facts. They just added a lot of conjecture. Now some of it is just, like, horse shit. Like, it's not rooted in any kind of uh, reality, reality at all. Yeah, yeah no, it's crazy. Uh, to button this up here, when I saw the picture of the mistress, right? Madam. Or the madam, <clears throat> as you like to call it. Well, it's not a miss. She, was, she wasn't anyone's mistress. Uh. A maybe, mistress maybe is was, more like somebody that fucking dominates your ass, right? No, a mistress is, like, if... You're Epstein. married. And- yeah, she's like, she's the one having sex with Clinton while he's married. That's a mistress. Maybe she a was. Madam a madam is madam- someone that orchestrates yeah, yeah. other people. But the madam being often to- bangs too, right? She's, you said she's hot. She's yes. probably banging people. That's what they said. Um, and so. Not to. Like, the- you're, you're right. I'm just. Yeah, yeah. I don't it. know if she did. The reason did why she? I bring this up is this seems picture perfect, like your type of woman. Yeah, that's what I was thinking just now. That's why I brought it up. Because she's Except hot. She she's older, hair. which you like. Yeah. And, uh, huge tits. She likes to fuck other people. You like that as well. Yeah. And uh, um, <laughs> look, uh, if she's out there, I'm saying give Dan a call. Yeah. What's her name? Gilfoy? Maxwell. We'll call her G. G. G Maxwell. Because her Maxwell? name is too hard to say. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. Guillotine Maxwell. G? I don't know what it is, but give Dan a call. And uh, he'll I'll, take I'll, care of you. I'll protect, protect you from, her. I'll protect you from the Clintons. For sure. <laughs> um, yeah. They're definitely saying that she needs to be worried about a criminal case coming up. Oh, really? Well, they yeah. got to find her first. They got to find her, yeah. Well, if they she's found her. Non- she's living in a secluded uh, beach town in New England. Oh, she's Manchester by in the, the U.S. She's been still? living there for, for a while, and she's been, people call her G. She's been in seclusion. All right. But well, that's they know a quick where flight. she is. It's a quick flight. I'd love to go up and, and come on, knock on our door. Just become neighbors. And then, Dan, you slide there your you way go. in. Infiltrate. Get all the info we need. Uh, continuously banger. And then, you know, let us know what, what's going on. I'll sell her really to the Clintons, on. though, for real. You will? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. So you yeah, can't yeah, be yeah. bought. She's a fucking pedophile. Yeah. Ra- rapist sex trafficker. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, have a little fun. And then sure. I'm going to sell her down the river immediately. Sure. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to write a book about it and make even more money. Uh, blamo, blamo. Yeah. I'm surprised. That's what we call it, blamo, blamo. I'm surprised there's not publishers going after her right now. Look, well, here's the thing. <laughs> with, a, with a pending legal trial, yeah. you, know, you can't. can't. You can't. Well, you could now, but all that money you could, they would lose yep. after she gets convicted because so you can't no make point. money off, mm. off your criminal enterprise. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You can't publish a book like fucking that if I did it. OJ never would have been able to pu- publish that if he had been found guilty. Ah, and I did not know that, yeah. actually. I mean, you could publish it, but you can't get any of the money. The government just takes that money, basically. No shit. Yeah. So what about books that are written, like, in prison? Do yeah, they... I don't know about that. Oh, okay. Like, it's, like once you're I, I already... Know you can't profit off of the crime, but I don't know if it's, like, after you get, quote, what they call off paper, like, you're not on probation or anything anymore, yeah, you're yeah. just done. Maybe you could do it at that point. I don't know. It makes sense. It was, it's kind of like Matt's book with the, with the DOD. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You've got to be out, yep. um, you know, for a certain amount of time yep. and all that other shits. And, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yep. Uh, you know what else is interesting? Horse. Ghostbed.com oh. forward slash drinking bros. I thought we were going to go into the story about horse. Yeah. Yet. I kind of want to talk about the horse too. We will. We will get to the horse. I feel like horse before beds. Boars. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to have somewhere to put the whore. Yeah. So I guess well, before so we chicken get to or, it, chicken or egg. And it's a nice tease is what I look at it. It's a nice tease of like, hey, after the break, we're about to talk about horse. 
Because this is a news show, right? Yeah, yeah. And Hor- trying to do ads on this show after, after news stories, yeah. like a real news show. Coming up next, we've got whores. But first, <laughs> Perfect. where do you bang those whores? First, we've got to pay some bills. <laughs> on ghostbed.com <laughs> forward slash pay for those whores. drinking bros. <sighs> D'Anthony, they just uh, rocked your balls off with one. You got one uh, uh, in your new place. Congratulations. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. A nice king for a little queen like yourself. Yeah, what size you get? You got a king? The I got a short king, yeah. kind? The short kind, yeah, not a California king. Okay, cool. A California king is... Uh, Annoying, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, it's annoying. She, that's hard to get sheets for her, That's Jesse's a dig saying. at you. Yep. Um, it is, yes. The yeah, California. I could be on a twin. The I'm a tall thing. drink. <laughs> <laughs> the California king is narrower by like four inches. Right. And I need that extra four inches uh, to add more people. Like sure. I don't necessarily <laughs> bang tall women. <laughs> But I do I bang like multiple women. women. I do like oh, tall yeah, yeah. women, but yeah, not yeah, yeah. six foot five women. Jesus Christ. There you go. I'll never say a never. king is 84 yep. inches, right? You know, I don't yes. know. Is it? Mm-hmm. Look at it's that. It's 84 or it's 82 and then the California king is 86 maybe. Ah. At any rate, yeah, Ghostbed sent me a bed and uh, I, I love them. Yeah. Quick, quick, right? You literally asked for it and it like appeared. Um, yeah, they, they shipped it yesterday and it'll be here tomorrow. Look at that. They're so, awesome. Yep. Look at that. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros for all your mattress needs. Uh, if you're military or first responder, 15% off forever. Yep. And that's a real nice thing. That is a real nice thing. Uh, you know what else is nice? 36 <laughs> months. No interest pay as you go program. No one's doing that on the internet. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. I need to buy some more pillows. Yeah, uh, get it. Get the Those cooling pillows. pillows. Are, get oh, the yeah. cooling that's a good. Pillows. That's a good fucking point right and there. The Those sheets. are Did real you get the nice. Sheets? Uh, yeah. They're super nice. Yeah. Okay. I've got two s- sets of sheets. I got those, and I've got these bamboo cooling sheets. I've never tried them. They're still packaged. Uh, someone just gave them to me, so I want to try them out at some point. Okay. But you guys have the ghost bed sheets, right? We do. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now the ghost bed ones are going to be better, but go ahead and do your own little experiment. Yeah. Well, here's the so deal. So that of, you can know for yourself, but I'm just going to tell you the ghost bed I mean, ones are going to be better. You're sleeping on bamboo. What are you, Rambo? Yeah, yes. come on now. Okay. That's the dream, panda? right? Yeah. So, a panda. No, I'm not going to eat them. Well, I might. <laughs> hey, you get hungry enough. Yeah. Uh, that's might. what happened to Panda Express. Here. That's I the reason why I get shut down. Did it get shut down? Yeah, they were cooking with real pandas. <laughs> I don't think so. I just passed one. So <laughs> This is fake news. Pretty sure. Uh, next up, let's get to the whores. Yeah, let's talk about whores because that's Please. the reason the people came today. Decommission Berlin Airport in Berlin. Whew. Whew. Berlin. We never would have guessed this would have happened in what Berlin. What are you talking about? A lot of sex there. Yeah. Um, proposed as a site. <laughs> you just, all that was really weird what just happened there. Oh, yeah, Shouldn't it was just been. kind of, okay. Uh, proposed <laughs> as a site for regulated <laughs> prostitution <laughs> with drive-in sex booths at the airports And I'm in Berlin. all for it. What's yeah. the problem? Well, he, it's funny. This is like a historic airport. It's the one that, uh, well, it's the one the Nazis used was their main airport and then uh after that west berlin it, it, it's the i'm against what's it called nazis um, i hope everyone's cool with that yeah it's it was used as a shelter for syrian refugees blah 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 oh the berlin airlift so um there was this uh covert operation during the cold war where u.s and allied forces grabbed a bunch of people who were in uh on the russian side of the wall and fucking snuck them out of there using this airstrip so it's famous and now basically it's a historic site Mm -hmm. and i don't know why they decided to add this it's the weirdest thing ever but in the article it's like yeah you can go by and see people rollerblading around like what the fuck yeah why would that be a thing (laughs) like hey you know a bunch of people died here let's rollerblade let's rollerblade nothing says it's time to move on than rollerblading and a drive-in sex booth yeah the drive-in sex booth that's the real the real bonus i don't know what that means though i think yeah. you just uh you put your dick out the window right to the yeah, drive-thru and then somebody comes and sucks so it. it's like a glory hole I, I would imagine a drive-by glory hole uh because uh, do you if you're driving in right do you park and oh, they shut a garage so d- door okay yeah yeah i don't know yeah, if you like yeah drive your car into the uh hangar mm-hmm. somebody comes out and sucks your dick and then you just drive out the other side almost like you put in some quarters almost like when you wash your own car in those those yeah. things yeah very, except for instead of that big hose very it's close. a whore it's a whore yeah. sure it's yeah. a whore and I mean, you that probably get great. the same amount of time which is never enough right well no. there's i'm sa- always like oh the soap's still on there yeah yeah 
and I never get that. They're saving on rent because you don't have to have rooms anymore. So these whores are, I wonder if they're paying the city to let them use the airport if they're just using it. A whore tax. Whore tax, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, have you ever been to Berlin? No. Have you ever slept with a whore in Europe? No. That's, bo- both of those are surprising to me, actually. I've never had sex with a prostitute. In your life? Nope. Wow, that's weird. Never, have you? No. No. It's never really found it. <laughs> no. It's never really found it necessary. To be okay. Honest. Like not that I could just fuck anybody I want, but I I'm just not, picture a man like you. Uh, I'm not against it, by the way. Yeah, out yeah, of convenience. yeah. I am. I I will pay for convenience. Yeah. But uh, I can't remember who said it, but someone famously said that you don't pay a whore to fuck you; you pay them to leave after, right? Yep. That was Gandhi. There you go. Uh, Gandhi said that. Gandhi. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, or Charlie Sheen. Sure to see now. Basically, the you same pay him guy. to leave is what he's what he was saying. Yeah, yeah, just get the fuck out out right? of convenience. And a, and a guy like yourself, <laughs> but I like to cuddle. So uh, afterwards, yeah, that's extra. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> not if you don't pay. If you cuddle the girl, then you can fuck anybody, right? I, I guess you so. pay the whore to leave because you don't want to cuddle her, right? Or talk to her, or Gosh, but it's you, by the hour, so you gotta you gotta bump up that rate. Gosh, you know, this whole I feel like conversation. Yo, you're welcome, Jesse. What? No, go ahead. There's male whores, too. You, yeah, ever, you ever wonder there, if there I was can a, give you a nice Swiss some dicks in there? Male whores are not for women, but anyway, go ahead. Oh, I, I will find are. you a nice heterosexual Swiss prostitute. It's about 6'2", right? Okay. One, 195, very lean. Big I old hog on. I don't want them lean. Oh, you want a dad bod. All right. Yep. So we'll find somebody that looks like Chris Pratt. Older. Uh, so you want a daddy with a dad bod. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have a, a specific a guy in mind? Brendan Fraser ish. Uh, Are you? I, I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. Oh no, that's my guy. Oh man, yeah, yeah that's real, <laughs> dude. It's real. Like Here's, I don't want you guys to work out. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's the Just positive. Let's for have me. fun. Why is let's that? Let's drink. Cause tell me it's why. Fucking. Then you're. Because there's. They something look about, like they're a good time. Do you know what I mean? And what I like to do looks like what they like to do. So you which would is be. Eat, Pills, yeah, yeah, yeah. drink. I got it. Okay. So instead of uh, like, I don't know, Tiger Woods, you would be more into John Daly. Yes. Because he's a drunk cocaine head. Yes, yes, yes. That probably gets his dick sucked in the parking lot Raspy. after most yeah. matches. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool. So uh, I would way, much rather have that than like a boring dude that like gets up super early, works out all the time, weighs his food. Like, no, thank you. Yeah. No, I, I, I understand all that. Um, but it, and this is what gives me hope about her, where when I'm rich When you enough, say hope, you mean she's not going to leave you. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, and, and when I get rich enough, knowing I can let myself go to Brendan Fraser like levels, mm-hmm. hashtag dreams. You know, like there right. just and needs to return, be a dollar amount that I don't care and I can leave social media forever and never return. But I feel like at that point, I will be at the age that women aren't allowed to be. Do you know what I'm uh, saying? Because you'll be too old, yeah. 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 So I will have made the mistake of turning 50, right? Yep. And then... Can't do that. I mean, is that a mistake or is that just something that happens if you live long enough? Both. It's, it's the wrong thing to do. Speaking of that, yeah. I, I don't know if I added it to the news here or not. Let me check before I start talking about this because I don't want to ruin it. Fire go away. Ahead. But Dan, you don't, can, have, a, you don't have an over under cup. age limit for, we can go off the for your women? No. I don't give a shit. Really? I mean, over... Would you fuck a 65-year-old? Mm. I mean, Brinkley. Stretch. Maybe. It should have to be 65, hot. 65, yeah. But if it was like Helen Mirren, yeah, I'd fuck her. Okay. All right. Even if Dane? it's just for the story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, That's true, huh? I've done, I've done worse things than that for the story. Believe me. Yeah. <laughs> Friend. I could see really going fucking I banged this chick deep one Jessica time. Tandy. She was kind of chunky. I guess it was like fucking... This was like 15 years ago, maybe. And... uh I don't know why I found it so funny. I was drunk as shit. And I just like walked outside and I'm uh, just looking around. And she's like, hey, uh, do you want to watch TV or something? I'm like, yeah, sure. And I just like, I like, hey, I got to get something out of my car. And I got in my car and just drove away. And I was laughing so hard at how weird that whole situation was <laughs> that I almost wrecked my car. <laughs> like I was laughing so You're hard so... and smacking the steering wheel. And I smacked it like downward and right. I almost hit a fucking mailbox. Oh, boy. I don't condone a lot of things in that story. I just want to say, but which part? Um, the chunky girl, and then the part where you just like leave laughing in the car. Yeah, 
But the drunk driving's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you crashing, like you almost crashing, I love. That's great. That is a great the part of the stuff, story. Is, and yeah. then. That's heartwarming is what it is. <laughs> the, yeah. Don't drive drunk, you fucking dicks. Yeah. Uber. Tr- <laughs> Anyways, what I was going to say before is that, uh, and it's not in the news, so I'm just going to say it. Um, this device has been implanted in uh, people's heads to stop seizures and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And um, to treat, actually, I think Obesity, it is in here. Yeah, we got it at the end. It is at the end. Never mind. I'm not, we'll get into it then. Okay, that's a good we teaser. We can talk about it now. That's a nice segue. The next that's story, Dan, is uh, about this device yeah, that so, people have been implanting into people's heads for obesity. Yeah, six morbidly obese people have agreed to take part in a clinical trial where this, there's a chip in their brain that will zap them when they think about food. Yeah. So it's, the chip was originally designed to, uh, to help people with, uh, what's, what's the Michael Parkinson's? Mm. Like it levels them out because yeah. they're like shaking all the time. So it's supposed to be an yeah. electri- a steady electrical current to like bring them back down. It's almost like electroshock therapy, but lower level and consistent. I yeah. saw this on a morning show, I think, <clears throat> where this guy like was playing, played violin, was like, insanely good at it mm-hmm. and was getting parkinson's and they did this mm-hmm. and it's a thing that he can like turn on and off oh really yeah so they showed him like he turned mm-hmm. it off and he just like wow whatever shaking not doing a bad impression but and he turned it back on and then he was just like steady as shit and it is something that yeah goes from the brain it's down. weird as shit i would be zapped constantly what? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm always thinking about food. I can't. It didn't say in the article whether they felt pain or not, or if it was just like a very, oh, oh, that you like don't a even small classical happened. conditioning, like, op, like you know, like uh, Pavlov's dog. Right. You know what I mean? Like and that kind of kind of switches it in yeah. your brain every or time. It's just like a little discomfort, but only your brain can tell and you don't consciously perceive it. I don't know if All it's, right. but it would be a lot funnier if people were getting electrocuted. Couldn't you like yeah. starve to death with that? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe like not. how, what, like what if that thing malfunctions? Then at you what can't point? Eat. You just literally yeah. cannot put food in your mouth. It's kind of like a clockwork orange. You know that scene where he's like strapped down in the movie theater and they're putting eye drops in his oh, eyes, but yeah, they give yeah, him a yeah. drug to make him nauseous and they play violent shit. So yeah. that way, when he gets back into the real world and he does violent shit, he feels nauseous. It's kind of the same way, except for uh, instead of that, they're zapping people to make them skinny. Yeah, they, they're saying that it can reprogram your brain. Like, and that, that makes sense. Like yeah. Habit building and lifestyle building, 21 and 90 days, that whole thing. Like if you have a device like that, that I mean, you could do a lot of shit. But that's kind of scary, isn't it? Like you could, how hard is it to put a chip in somebody's brain? Well, that's what I, I was talking about. I heard this story of the same kind of thing with someone with depression, severe, severe depression. And they put this thing in her brain and she had a remote control and they would, they talk to her while she like had it at the right, you know, knob, whatever, five or something. And they took it down to two and she just started like crying. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and wow. That's that, fucked up. It's crazy, but then she was like, and she had like a remote, same kind of thing, and like the dog, if the they had to put it up high because the dog was getting it to her and like turning her off, essentially. And I'm just like, how close is that to robots, essentially? Yeah. Because you can make, I mean, you could wire someone's brain to make them be able to play the piano. You can wire them to like be That's able to. That's the Matrix, to- brother. That's what Dude, I want. Yeah. Exactly. I want to be plugged in. I want to fucking be like, you know what? I and wanna... then just have them cross some wires around. Yeah. I want to be able to fucking play. And then you're like a nice person. Wouldn't whole... that be cool? Well, no, that would be terrible. But I'm not interested in that. <laughs> what I want to do, <laughs> like, I want to be able to play a new instrument whenever I feel like it. Yeah. Just or like, like put a karate. Disc, be super good at put karate. A, put a Betamax in the side of my head. I'll get a little slot right here. Yeah. Put a Betamax in that thing. And it's like, all of a sudden I know karate. What would be the, if, so if you would one thing to do, right? Because all I thought when I read this thing, right? Because there's a lot of people, that's is their one thing. I just want to be thin, yes. right? I just want to be in shape. Yes. Um, what would be your one thing? If you could put, insert a disc and you only could choose one, what would it be? Um, it's not exciting. I would want to understand quantum field theory and shit like that. Like, oh, I just can't God. do Ross, what about you? I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't conceive of the math. The numbers are too big. So I, but I would like to be able to do that, but I don't know if humans can even do that. So, but if I could, that would be something I would want to do. Yeah. Okay. Was well, there any people that are doing it now? Um, the smartest mathematician on earth is Ed Witten mm-hmm. and no, All right. even he can't do that. I don't think. Well, that, so that, that would be your one thing. What about you, James? 
I'd want to be a gro- dog groomer. Really good at dog <laughs> grooming. <laughs> but just like this. Like, I don't want to lo- like have to go into any yeah. classes. You want to be able like to this. shave all types of... I want to do of... that poodle thing, you know, yep. perfectly. The poof on the butt. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what would be a really good one, too, is uh, the ability to read micro expressions really well. Like, your face is just like, uh, it's better than biometric scans for lie detection. Mm-hmm. The way your eyes move and the way your face twitches and all that shit. If you could see stuff like that, you would know everything about everybody all the time. That'd I already be super have that. beneficial. Do you? Yep. What am I thinking right now? <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about murdering me. No, you're wearing purple today. It's my least favorite color, but and it's not even relevant. But <laughs> no. I'm not going to murder somebody wearing purple. Wearing purple, yeah. That's out of respect for Prince, obviously. <laughs> so I'm glad you said purple. that. Purple. Yeah. <laughs> What's your real one, dum dum? What's my real one? Yeah. yeah. It's not to be one a fucking thing. dog groomer. What's the one thing you you would eliminate? Oh, what? Eliminate? Or you could do, yeah, because like this. Is, I'd want to be able to. Tr- Drink better than I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. I'd want to be able to, like, party more better. Mine, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mine would be perfect genetics so that I, I never had to work out again. And yeah, I could just yeah. eat and I mean, drink and party all sure. the time. And be but that's not what it, it is. It's a reprogramming your brain. So you can't reprogram better genetics. Why so not? What would why it couldn't be? you put the same? I mean, why couldn't you turn? T- oh, God. Why couldn't you make the chip in your brain, um, like, slowly exercise your muscles? You know what I mean? Because the brain is telling, like, this is all my yeah, brain working, right? Could. So if you just, like, while you're sleeping, tell your brain, one, keep me asleep, and two, fucking exercise my muscles as I'm sleeping and stay anabolic overnight, you yeah. would be fucking shredded all the time. That, then I would do that because I, I would want to. But not... you would have to eat, like, a million calories a day. You'd have to eat, like, probably four or you five betcha. thousand calories. That a day. I can do. No problem. I had no. to gain weight for a movie once, and it was, that was one of the funnest times. Of all time, I think all, you should go. People who know. are like, it "Hey, seems uncomfortable." No, it. I put on thirty-five pounds for this Ooh, fucking movie. That's and a lot of weight in a month. In a month, that's holy shit! Oh man, it was unhealthy. Awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> I was having dominoes uh, with uh, my because my favorite. You know, you like Chipotle, and I think Chipotle is garbage, and it's for garbage people. I'm, I, I'm not a huge fan of Chipotle. Baja Fresh is my jam. So in LA, I was able to get the Dos Manos, the two hander. Yeah, um, <laughs> so that would be starting my day why don't we do a bet and then the loser has to gain 30 pounds no way Ooh. no because i it, here's Cause the I'll, thing i'll cut it in, i already in lost that I'll, and i'll tell you <laughs> i'll tell you why losing it was the fucking hardest thing ever and it took months yeah um after that and when your body gets used to eating all of your favorite guilty pleasures mm-hmm. all day long whenever you want i'm your talking reset like, weight goes back yes and, and it was really fucking hard to do um, so that would be the end all be all because I like, I'm, I'm with you on this. When, when I, when we travel and things like that, I like to eat things for whatever that culture is or city or wherever you are. Uh, Dan and I go to a lot of these shows are from the, the craft breweries. We're about to go to another one tactical, mm-hmm. uh, brewery in, in Orlando. And I want to go in and, and drink fucking 38 craft beers that are, you know, 9,000 calories a piece and be fine with it. So, well, I mean, sounds look, like you want this exact anything, zapper. Anything worth doing is going to be difficult. I say you and I forget about the bet. This is the bet. We both gain, tw- let's call it 20 pounds, and then see who can lose it the fastest. It would be you, probably. Why? Yeah. I've never seen a human eat like you all day long and be as, as shredded as you are. I'm not you shredded. Just knows You're pretty what cut to up. Eat and when. No, that is not true. Okay. It is. Uh, tell, tell the audience what you, uh, beer wise, you drink. Beer? Yeah. I don't really drink beer. But when yeah. you do, what do you have in your fridge? Cider. Cider, yeah. But that's, I, it's rare that Sugars, I drink any beer. All that. All. I, but I understand. But that's, that's usually nowhere near someone's list, right? No, usually I just don't. Dudes are drinking vodka sodas. That's what I drink most White of the claws. Time. Like that joke in, that's going on in Drinking Bros and the, the Facebook group <clears> right <throat> now. That's true. Like, dude, if you're, it's, it's higher than if you were drinking a Bud Light or a, a, yeah. uh, an Ultra. Especially if this Four loco shit comes out. It's going to be 14 fucking percent. When that comes out, it will be bulls on parade. Oh, yeah. And that will annihilate yeah. every college. We'll probably be dead. Y- yeah. Because we'll be there. And it's like, dude, yeah. the, when that comes out, we'll be drinking that shit. Um, my fucking well, college roommate invented that goddamn thing. I would love loco, to yeah. get my hands on that. But uh, um, I think he sold the company. So Listen. That's a, rant, that's a rant about a sponsor that we don't have that I would love to. Oh, we would love a to have 14%? Yeah. 
four loco with no carbs and no sugars. We'll do it for just give us the booze and we'll do the for free. Yeah. God damn it. That um, would be great. That's a good one. Uh, next up, Georgia Southern quarterback arrested for cocaine. Turned out to be bird shit. Yeah. It wasn't even like he had a bag of stuff. They pulled him over and you could see the body cam footage and the, the uh, dash cam footage. It's just like a big streak of white shit. On the hood. On the yeah. hood of the car. Like, that's not how you. I don't know what these cops were thinking, but that's not how you transport cocaine, guys. <laughs> Usually it's in bags. <laughs> just on the hood. It is. Well, it, like, no. well what the, I did like was I painted my car. Again. This in isn't. The, <laughs> it's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Uh, maybe. We had done. I had done a crime corner on our other show about an old man that had been uh, arrested because the cops thought crumbs from his Krispy Kreme were cocaine. Yeah. Mm. So right, and they test it, and then it's like something comes whoopsies. up. I don't know what these testing things are that I they're using. They're a really chem- not- it's a it's a reagent chemical. So you add cocaine to it. And uh, if it has enough of it in there, you shake it and it turns blue, then you know it's cocaine. Well, apparently this bird shit did. Right. And so did this Krispy Kreme so thing. Now I'm worried about birds doing cocaine. That's what I, that my first thought was that. Because, well, we know birds aren't real. Yeah. <laughs> we know that they're government listening <laughs> devices. And now they're giving these goddamn things cocaine. Cocaine to stay alive and awake. Forget right. about the Clintons and Jeffrey Epstein and all this bullshit. There are birds on cocaine right now. And that's... What the real news is yeah. out of this story. Yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the real cocaine. takeaway. Or if they're, whatever the birds are eating has cocaine in it. So like seeds and nuts just around town. Ugh. And that coke is only going to exacerbate town. them shitting faster. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good way to get back at somebody if they piss you off, by the way, is feed the birds in their neighborhood like a lot of stuff, and they'll shit everywhere. <laughs> like if you, if you put a lot of uh, like uh, carb-rich stuff instead of like bread instead of nuts, they will shit everywhere. So if somebody pisses you off and they happen to park under a tree from time to time, just cruise on over to that tree sometime, throw a bunch of bread down at the bottom of it, and then they will wreck Gosh, that fucking I'm car. I'm busy. I'm so busy. Yeah, that, <laughs> Dude, everything yeah. I just said would take 30 seconds, Jesse, and you're not that busy. I've seen your schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Full of shit. Fair. The That's kids fair. are raising themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, in uh, other medical news, a Bronx man's dick is turning into a bone. An actual <laughs> bone, by the way. This isn't innuendo. His penis is turning into a real live bone. The man, 63, fell and doctors x-rayed him to make sure he didn't break his hip. Instead, they found the man's penis was undergoing ossification, which is obviously yeah. just turning to bone. Only 40 cases have ever been documented, and this lucky man in the Bronx... It is happening one to of him. Them. Yeah. yeah. Can this you imagine, is my worst nightmare. Can you imagine uh, being one of 40 human beings that something happened to when it wasn't a good thing? Uh, like, motherfucker. Are yeah. you kidding me? Like, I'm the one that got AIDS out of right? all these fucking people. Although there are quite a few people with AIDS. Yeah, now. yeah. That's a, not a good. You can still use your dick, too. Uh, but if you were in a car accident, well, right? Well, he's all boned up. Yeah. But he, here's the thing. You can use it. If you were in a car accident. Yeah. Something fucked up happened to you. It's an unfortunate, it's a tragic accident, right? Yeah. This guy wasn't doing anything. No, he was just hanging out. He just woke up and his dick turned to a bone. Well, the, my, I have think? a lot of questions about yeah. that. Like, Where he didn't urinate? fucking notice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, look, they x rayed him because they thought he broke his hip. Uh-huh. Turns out, and they saw that on the thing, like, oh shit, we need to look into that further. They looked into it further, and yeah, his dick is turning into an actual bone. Yeah. And uh, he just left. The hospital walked out of there. He didn't stay to find out what to do next. He's just like, fuck this. I'm out of here. And he left. No shit. I understand that. If somebody told me that, I would probably be like, fuck you guys, man. I'm going home. So how is it? <laughs> I don't think there's any way to reverse the it. Where's bone so. part? Like do- the cartilage that's in his dick or whatever the fuck. Right. But do we know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't is know if it it's right the, base the base or the base? tip. Yeah. Like if he's growing an eagle claw in the end yeah, of his yeah. dick is or it something like, like is that. It ah. blo- is it witch's finger bone or is it? Straight out bone. I mean, we'll look, know. you'd have to put a fucking knuckle in that thing if you're just going to cruise around, if you're going to be hard all the time. Right? right? Oof. Right? Yeah. Like a little joint. You got, yeah, <laughs> a knuckle? 
Yeah, like, yeah, because it has to be able to It's got to bend yeah, at some yeah, point. You yeah. just can't be walking around. With your it can't dick be just straight, a straight up like a femur. No, sure. So like, it would be like this mic mic stand here is what you're kind saying. Kind of, right? yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Or it would knuckle the other way. Like, knuckle it would up. Come back towards you. It or just maybe, needs to be able to be put somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. The dick's got to be knuckled, knuckled down. Knuckled yeah. up or down. Yeah. Knuckled or you can just down. get it taken off completely and get a new dick or something. I don't know. How's that work? You know, I'm not. Uh, I stopped doing dick transplants a long time ago. I feel like you should be able to get a dick transplant. Why would you not be able to do that? I think you I can. I think you can. Yeah. Like, I think you can. Homeboy got his dick sewn back on back in the day. He did, yeah. The Bobbit guy. And it's yeah, still, from a it field. still worked because he did porn after that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you should be able to. Let's all go get new dicks. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go get new dicks. Are you in? Jesse, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? We're calling it New Dick Dan. Yeah, I'm gonna get a new dick after the cruise. We have a party it, for you and yeah. everything. Yeah, I'm celebrate your new penis. How Pictures nice. up all over of the old one versus yeah. the new one. We'll yeah. do a housewarming party for the dick. Ambush yeah. makeover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> makeover my dick. <laughs> old one, and then we like reveal it. Do you He's think like, that would oh be? Would that be a good sketch to do an ambush makeover on somebody? What you really give them a sex change operation? Yeah, queer eye for the straight. Yeah, dong. like you've been acting real gay lately, and we're just gonna fucking go ahead and hook you up with the right parts, homie. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dick would you want? You think me? Yeah, you go black. No, I mean, look, size and girth, yeah, but not color because it would look weird. Mm. Um, maybe something like cheetah pattern. I don't know. With your fair skin, oh, a nice yeah. black dick though could really it would, it would pop. It, it yeah. could really, really pop. pop. Yeah, uh, but I, I, I like those cheetah spots. Ah. You know what I mean? I'm just into that look. I don't know why. Uh, faster. <laughs> you know faster. what I mean? I'm just into that look. Yeah. <laughs> um, Animal print. What are we talking yeah. about? With this I don't guy know. in the Bronx, it's man, the news, I obviously. feel awful for him. I know. Um, yeah, that sucks, dude, but we're still going to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's 63. I, we don't have a name here, but if he wants to be on the show, we'd love to interview I'll him. I'll look at his it. dick. Yeah. I mean, we already had Ray Care pull his dick out on the show. So yeah, we did. What's one more? Everybody keeps going back to that video on, on YouTube, too, and looking at your face, looking at Ray's dick. Um, yeah. Because you were shot. so unsurprised. Oh, it was just Look, like another day at the. Yeah. yeah. If, you're, yeah. if you are in the military long enough, particularly in infantry units you're gonna see a lot of dicks that's just the way it is <laughs> guys whip their dick out for fun like hey look at what does this look like i'm like it looks like your fucking dick guy that's yeah. what it looks like get it get it back in your pants yeah <laughs> jackass but i'm uh, still gonna look somebody freeze framed a nice photo of you and uh you were just like <clears throat> they should, another day at the job they should get that one framed because that's what it's like yeah really that's that's a, a picture's worth a thousand words they say yeah that and that Kawhi leonard shot those are the two picks of the year i think yeah uh, so far, so year's far, not over. Yeah. Still early. Uh, other things can happen. Speaking of dicks, uh, we're going to talk about our next sponsor, Roman ED. Uh, GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros. If you have a dick that can still get an actual boner and not turn to an actual bone. Yeah, this may be a thing of like if you don't, if you don't use it. You lose it, right? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I don't know. It uh, just turns to fucking calcium. Deposits. I don't know. I don't know what causes ossification, but it is calcium that's part of it. Sure. sure. So, uh, and we also know from last week's news show that because of the heart attack stuff, that Roman ED is good for blood flow and overall heart health. Right. So you got to think that it would prevent definitely this. So get, dick. if you're using yeah. it, yeah. Get, get boned up the right way is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, free. Doctor's visit online. You don't have to go into the doctor's office here to try to get Viagra or wherever you live. That's free. Free shipping. Also comes in a discreet box so your wife won't know. Your kids won't know. Well, she's going to know eventually. Yeah. Your madam won't know. Your mistress. Maybe not. They'll, they'll just think, hey, he's, he's really on one right now, you know? I don't think it's a nice fun weekend for you. Go to getroman.com forward slash drinking bros today. Free shipping, free online, everything, dude. Uh, boners for life. Uh, next up, cable and satellite TV has uh, lost another 1.5 million subscriptions in quarter two of 2018. Uh, you're saying cable TV is done. I am not. The only thing keeping it alive now is sports. Correct. So look, why if i'm the nfl right now mm -hmm. i'm like fuck all these networks why don't i just make my own goddamn network which they do have already yeah so, so why not just stream that shit and cut everybody out of the process why share money 
with Spectrum and all these other companies? Why? What's that, the point? That's what I said, but they keep doing it. They keep signing contracts. I don't contracts, understand why. And, and I, I believe the contract's going for another 10 years, right? So you're going way past streaming and all this other shit for because another 10 years is essentially buying you cable again, right? Yeah. And, and I think their deal, I don't know if it's still with DirecTV. Is that who's showing the, all the games? The NFL network, you mean? Uh, uh, no. They're, on DirecTV, it's the, it's the, you get the package where you oh, can yeah, watch yeah, every, yeah. every game, but yeah. they're the only ones who do it. I don't know what happened with that last year. I think they I lost don't either. it maybe. I don't either. Um, <laughs> but to me, uh, the way that the bundling package is in all of these fucking apps, mm-hmm. your bill is now starting to get higher than cable. So I think cable hangs in there a couple years longer than, than we think. Well, here's what's going to happen. We've talked about this on the show before. The streaming services are going to start bundling together. Yeah, and at which, some point, which so is basically just cable. The, yeah. And the new Disney is, by exactly. the way. It's uh, Disney, Fox, and ESPN probably, right? Because they own all those. D, it's Disney, ESPN+. Plus. So you're going to get Disney+, Plus, ESPN+, Plus, yeah. and then Hulu for fourteen. Because Fox owns Hulu. Yeah. So, so for fourteen ninety nine, yeah. you're going to get that bundle, bundle package, and it's the same uh, price as Netflix. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a good deal. So to me, uh, when, I mean, when you start at tallying up, because me, I'll probably have that for kids. But that plus Amazon Prime, which you're going to have anyways, because everybody has Amazon Prime for now. For free shipping, yeah. That's $100 or that's like 10 bucks a month. Right. And then Netflix is another 12 15 yeah. And then you add fucking HBO to that or whichever 15, premium service yeah. you want. You're looking at like 60 bucks. That's not that bad for everything. Cable right now is only about 80 Yeah. But you're, you have on-demand stuff, right? Uh, you do have an on-demand stuff, but I will say this because I have Dish. Uh, Dish comes with Netflix, so yeah, it's just a channel on there, and you can pop it on, and that's part yeah. of the thing. Uh, you still have to pay for it. Yeah, I have Direct TV now through AT and T. Okay, so it's like uh, it's sixty-five a month for what I got, but it's it includes HBO and a bunch of other bullshit, like two hundred channels plus HBO. It's cheap. But I don't care about money either. As a, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, like well, whenever I, all this fails, eventually, when, when your sex scandal happens or Jesse gets caught fucking uh, murdering prostitutes or whatever you're into. Um, <laughs> yep. We're the ones that are going to yeah, have, it's some, not gonna be me. have a bag of hair. And it's no, certainly yeah. not going to be Jared. Mm-hmm. It's going to be one of you two. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Obviously. <laughs> whenever this all goes up in flames, yeah, I'm just exactly. going to die. Yeah, because yeah. I'm too stupid with money. I'm just like I don't care. I don't care what happens tomorrow. Fuck tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You bet. You uh, bet. Who needs tomorrow? Here, these Great are good numbers though about this. So, <laughs> thanks. Um, this is the fourth <laughs> consecutive tomorrow. quarter of net losses for cable mm-hmm. and and satellite. And now there are more streaming customers than there are cable and satellite customers combined. Just from the three big streaming companies, not all of them. So I think it's on the way out. I don't, I don't know why you're right about the sports contracts. I don't know why the leagues have done that, honestly. Uh, for money, because it's upfront money and it's guaranteed. So yeah, but fucking why not? Why, if you're, well, they're, they're worried about ratings. So you take a sport like baseball, yeah. right? The more ADHD everybody gets uh, with I need fast movement and all that other shit now, yeah. baseball ratings are on the decline. Yeah, but uh, fucking Disney just bought... Or ESPN just bought MLB.tv, which plays every MLB game. So they own that now. Right. Um, I, I think they wanted to get out of that business, me, me personally. Yeah. I think ESPN needs to and probably should own everything to be financially successful. Yeah. Because uh, they just bought UFC and mm-hmm. all that other shit. The biggest winner in this, if you are playing stocks at home, is uh, Roku. Um, or Roku, Apple TV or any of those, yeah. Their stock is, is through the roof. It's the mm-hmm. highest stock on the, the, the market this year simply because all of these streaming wars, they love, they don't give a fuck about, you're still going to need a goddamn TV to watch it on. Yep. Um, and those Roku TVs are for somebody like me who hates technology. Mm-hmm. They're my favorite TVs on the fucking planet. They're not a service here, but they have five buttons on them. Volume up, down, play, rewind, It's the jitterbug of TVs. It's great. It's fucking great. We have a Shout Roku TV button. in every fucking room of our house. It is the easiest Calm thing down, to use ever. You know. yeah, Jesse. They're older. Do so you yeah. have one in the bathroom? I mean, they're like 160 bucks now. It's not a big deal. Well, all flat screens Calm pretty down. much are, yeah. I mean, they're Both coming out with uh, 8Ks, <laughs> by the way. That, that, that'll be a segue into this, right? So yeah. they're, they're coming out with 8K TVs. I don't want to see this. 
I don't know. Look, you're the human eye can only perceive somewhere between 30 and 60 frames per second. So mm -hmm. making it clearer and clearer, you're, you're getting into the uncanny valley at some point. Like it looks too good. It looks They'll better. It looks look better worse. than what my eyes can naturally see. Yeah. Yes. So it's going to start looking like all CGI. I'm not into that. That kind of ruins it, man, to be honest. Me neither. I was done it. But it's, truthfully, I was done at 4K. It would be cool for video games. 8K would be cool for video games. And sports. And sports. But for anything else, like movies and shit, I don't, that's, especially like much. reality and daytime TV shows where it's just people like us talking. Like if this was 8K, you would see inside the pores of my skin right now. Yeah. Right. And no one wants to see no that. No one wants uh -uh. to see that because I'm hiding shit in there. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm with you. Like you could have stopped at 1080 for me and I'm fine. Well, uh, you, you said because, 4K before, which is it? No, no, no. 4K yeah, for sports. Well, so if, if I had to choose, right, 4K for sports, um, but for people, movies, TV shows, 1080 is fine with me. I don't want to see makeup on people no, or I, pores I, or any of that shit. I don't know even 8K for even sports, though. I think only video. It would have to be something artificial. Otherwise, it's going to look fake. To yeah. Me. Like, I don't yeah. even know. I, don't, I haven't seen it for sports. I've only seen the display shit they have in the stores, but it doesn't, I don't feel like it would look all that great. Jamie, what's, what's the price tag on those TVs for those 8Ks? Weren't, weren't they like 6,500 or something that, like yeah, that? Yeah, for like a 60 or 70 inch, it's about 6,000 bucks. For the new 8Ks, like yeah. yeah. I think we get all of the athletes on steroids and then 8K. And then we can like have a real... I've said this forever. I think that all athletes should be on steroids. Yes, me yeah. too. Like, but could not? you imagine Mark McGuire's face in 8K? <sighs> Yikes. Blame no, him. he's got some pock marks. Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, did you see that new documentary about... Uh, about uh, what's his nuts? The guy in Florida, A Rod's buddy, no Bosch, Tony Bosch. Oh, oh no, no, no! Yeah. I, I watched like the first ten minutes. It's fucking good. I'm sure it's really interesting. Like their first customer that was an athlete was Manny Ramirez. He was like, yeah, he came in and just saying he felt sluggish and lethargic. We did a test and he had the testosterone level of a 90 year old man. Look, if you're a fucking and he was like 29 at the time, I think. Yeah. If you're a fucking professional athlete and all of a sudden for no reason your testosterone, which makes you good at being an athlete, just drops it. That's a medical condition. You should be able to raise your testosterone back up to a normal level, right? Mm -hmm. what, what's I don't understand. That's not cheating. No, but what A Rod no. was doing was oh yeah, that was the craziest shit I've ever. He heard. was micro dosing, and they figured out like to the inning, like he would take a small amount of supplements before the game. Mm -hmm. And then again in like the fifth and seventh innings, I think. Yeah. And by the time, even if they tested him right after the game, he would not piss hot. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And now he's living the fucking good life. Well, he's always been living people the good like life. He's got $500 million. That took yeah. it for like inju injury, yeah. right? And then he gets fucking treated the same way as A-Rod. Yeah. Which I think is stupid. I don't think that anybody should be getting treated. Any, listen, the most exciting season of professional baseball that has ever happened was 1998 when Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire were having that home run derby, man. That's the most exciting that I ever remember baseball yeah, yeah. being. And I loved it. Same. And everybody fucking loved it. But yeah. now here's the Westworld theory, right? So, like, do you like Westworld? Mm -hmm. Toward the last season that I watched, mm -hmm. uh, they were all fake right and everyone knew they were fake and i couldn't really get into it so what do you mean fake you know they like all know they know their robots everyone else knows their robots and it's all oh, you're like, talking about the show yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, what's yeah. the correlation between that and baseball so between everyone taking steroids right. it's like will you be able to enjoy it in the same way if you know that they're all fake a Fakely good, essentially, and I right? Think I, yes, and I think that's, that's part of it, for real. I um, think that's a really stupid way to look at it. Not your opinion, but I mean, like, people, Pete, you're right. People are out there like, oh, I don't want to watch this if it's right. fake. If it's I fake, do want to see everyone on steroids. Do you not want to, like, personally. like, these NASCAR people complained when they put restrictor plates, and it was for safety of the drivers. Right? Oh, yeah. They complained like crazy about, oh, we're trying to fucking pussify, and everybody complains about all the new rules to protect NFL guys, but you're also going to complain about giving them some juice to make them fucking better. Yeah. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Let them go wild. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I love that 1998 season is one of the best years of my fucking life. Like, honestly, just watching that shit, you barely missed a game. Are you almost were at a game where he had number 70, right? Yeah. It was on in every single bar, <laughs> restaurant, every, everywhere you went, they, they were televising both games, the yeah. Cubs and the Cardinals. That and you're year. like what? 22 then or some shit. You were young. Yeah, man. I was like just out of college, right? 16, I think. <laughs> um, 
In 98? Yeah, I think it was maybe 14 or 15 years old. <laughs> Dude, but, uh, you were fucking uh, graduating college. No, no. I was, I, was, uh, I, was, I think I was 12, actually, and my dad took me. He did this on um, the other show, too. <laughs> either way, uh, as a 12-year-old boy, I remember looking up at the TVs and being like, oh, my God, this is incredible. <laughs> and, you know, we didn't miss... It, it, whenever we went out, right, as, as friends and all that other shit, yeah. uh, in, in all sincerity, um, we didn't miss any of these at baths. They were always cutting back and forth, and it stopped yeah. the bars and restaurants, and everybody would watch. Sometime around mid-August, that started happening, and for a month and a half straight, every at bath that Soso or McGuire had, they cut. ESPN was yep. tell, it's just like Barry Bonds in 2000, whatever, 2003, I think. Yeah and, yeah, and I was telling you the story of how we bought tickets because we tried to figure out where McGuire was going to break the record. Yeah. And so I had the tickets the day after he broke the record. Uh, and we heard it. Uh, Steve we had, Traxel, right? We had he a had drive to Cincinnati because he was playing in Cincinnati uh, yeah. the, the next day. He broke it at home uh, in Against St. Louis. Steve Traxel from the Cubs, right? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but the next day they were in Cincinnati. So we were in the car listening to it on the radio hoping – he wouldn't break the record so yeah. we could be at the game when he did it. And when he did, the announcers on the radio station were like, well, it's probably going to take tomorrow off. And I was like, fuck uh. you. He didn't. He came out and took one at bat. And then he waved and was like, I'm exhausted. I'm going home. And we were just sitting there. And, and no lie, at that Cincinnati Red Stadium, half of the stadium just got up and walked out. Yeah. We were just like, fuck this, man. Uh, it sucked. I missed it by a day. Uh, but it was fun. Um, and uh, I know they're doing a documentary of it. Can you think of any, like, recently a better season of sports than that? Like a better season that a, that a whole league had than that 1998 MLB season? And just think about the... Not how, off the how, top of my head, Think no. about how big it was, too, because the strike was in 94, and that killed baseball for a while. Yeah. Like, 95, when the Braves won, they had the, it was the lowest attendance in MLB uh, history. Yeah. history. So... Yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden this happens in 98. Obviously, we're not going to get into a fucking whole thing about steroids here, but uh, that's what it can produce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what the fuck are we even talking about? Yeah. Even Look, even watching Bonds' shit was exciting, man. Um, yeah. Because he was playing the Dodgers a lot and I was in L.A. So, dude, we, we went to some of those games. Uh, same thing. I missed his by, by, by a day there because um, everybody was trying to catch that ball. So the seats in the right field. We're going for like a gajillion dollars because if you caught that ball, you knew it was a million dollars. Yeah. And people were ready to sell it. Um, yeah. We missed that by a fucking day too. What's your deal? You're zoned out here. What? Exactly. Yeah. Who, Jesse wasn't alive then. So <laughs> who did? I heard all of it and I loved it. <laughs> and good job. I just want to add one more thing. Uh, I think when you were 12, TVs didn't even exist yet. So let's move on to the <laughs> they next. They didn't. <laughs> and that'll bring us to the next ad read. TVs exist now. Uh, and on streaming, there's a new app, Shudder.com. Ooh. S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com. Um, uh, or just the Shudder app, right? Yeah. That's it. I like it. Uh, it, it is Netflix for horror. So it is, it is completely horror, wall-to-wall. -wall. They got original series. Uh, and AMC you're saying what? Horror? Horror. Oh, okay, yep. okay, okay. Uh, sorry, with, sorry. Uh, an horror. H. Just making sure. H-O-R-R-O-R, -R -R, not W-H-O-R-E. All righty. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they've got wall-to-wall -wall horror originals, all the movies. Again, AMC owns it, so you know it's good, and it's, it's free. So all you need to do is type in the promo code Drinking Bros. You get it for 30 days for free. Check it out. Uh, if you like it, congratulations. It's five ninety nine a month after that. That's it. If you hate it, you don't ever have to use it again. But try it out, Shudder.com, S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com, and promo code Drinking Bros lets you watch it for free for 30 days. Next up, astronomers recently noticed that, that what they were calling a glitch um, in a neutron star was something else. No, they found a glitch in the neutron star. So no, something else. It was the, the portal to the sim world, brother. It may be. So here's what happened. And there's no, they don't have a physical. Shut down again. No, I mean, really, this is, this is legit. Just fucking calm down. Um, <laughs> fucking calm down, dude. Um, Only news anchors can talk to news anchors like this. Drew, we're our special type of people. Um, so a neutron star, is a, it's a pulsar. It calls, it's called that because it's spinning really fast. And it's very dense material, so it's creating a massive electromagnetic field. Yep. And it's, <laughs> it's moving so fast that particles are collapsing, and it's blasting energy out of both ends, so the north and south pole of it, so it makes a pulse. 
boom, 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 yep. every time. I had that in Mexico as well. Yeah, well, you got to be careful. Now, Blasting man. energy out Speaking of both ends. Speaking of that, ends. Uh, on the cruise, don't eat anything or drink any of the water. Yeah. Just take that day and drink booze. Nah, uh, you're fine. In <clears throat> Mexico. At any rate, so this thing is spinning. It's about 12 miles wide. It's spinning really fast. Mm. Like 10 times a second, basically. Yeah. Right? And for some reason, it's now starting to, well, they, they caught it uh, with their instruments. It slowed down a little bit, and then it sped up faster than it was going before. There's no reason. There's no, nothing about that makes any sense. Unless this is all sim world. Basically, what I think happened is there's a sim world. Yeah. Jessie's not invited because she's being a dick right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. You're being a dick. Why? Because you hate you're, the sim you're naysaying world. us. You know what? Just, just it's go just along when we go this. right. Okay. <laughs> it's just when we go right from sports to the sim world. The sim world. I shut down. <laughs> but go ahead because I'm here. Jesse won't entertain the sim world or aliens. I know. I'll entertain a sim world. The, what I think happened is, is it, we're in a sim world for sure, right? Just go ahead and say it. <laughs> we're in the sim Good. world. So for you sure. heard it here first, folks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jesse Wiseman says that we're in a sim world. Go ahead, say it. Um, okay. I think some guy tripped over a cord or something. Like it's a it's a telephone switchboard, and he yep. accidentally knocked the cord out that makes the thing spin, and then plugged it back in real fast, and that's what happened, or yeah. something like that. There's no there's no scientific explanation for what happened there. Not that we won't find one eventually, but just think about the laws of energy and motion. Stuff doesn't slow down like it's trying to gather its energy and its speed up faster than it was going before if it's a celestial body it's not a thing that happens no i agree i agree so sim oh world it God. is i'm going to stab you moving I'm on doing my neck exercises <laughs> steve king <laughs> what? It oh boy it up. huh is what this, is he republican or democrat he's steve republican from, oh from boy Iowa. now this i can get into yeah <laughs> says we're all products of rape and incest uh <laughs> So he's, you know, that old trope about, uh, about, rape and inc- about abortion, like, well, at least it, it at least has to be illegal or legal in the case of rape and incest. A lot of right, people right, say right. that, right? Yeah. So he was like, I don't even think it should be illegal then. And people were like, what do you mean? Like, that's stupid. Come on, dude. Uh, he wants people to have children after yeah, they've been he's raped like, or he, had here's, here's exactly incest. what he said. He said, what if we went back through all the family trees and just pulled those people out that were products of rape and incest? Would there be any population of the world left if we did that? Like, maybe, I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Then he said, considering all the wars and all the rape and pillage that has taken place, I know that I can't certify that I was not a product of that. I'd uh. like to think, well, I think he's proven that he's probably the product of incest. Because a functioning brain wouldn't even yep. think this, much yep. less say it out loud in front of a bunch of fucking people. God. How does this guy get elected, though? Well, I don't they're know. calling for his resignation for sure oh, after yeah, yeah. this. Well, yeah. I mean, he's, he's been censured before. I yeah. Mean, he's, uh, last year, he got stripped of all his committee assignments. That is an unprecedented thing. Like yeah, that, he's mm. a fun dude. Uh, and the reason for that is because he was mad that people thought that, the, that being a white supremacist was a negative thing. He's yeah, like, I don't know why. The, like, why can't you be a white supremacist? I don't understand. Well, he said like, these things have gotten a bad rap, right? And he said, like, yeah. white supremacy, nat- uh, national, national, yeah. and then something else. But he, like, lumped them all together yeah. and was like, all these terms have gotten a bad rap, and I don't know why. And I you're wonder like, if oh, his whoa. kids had an incest child, and he was the grandfather of that incest child. Now he's Would trying he to use his position to normalize it, so when, when they come out, yeah, would it, yeah. It's like, hey, man, their eyes are super close together. Whatever it is, this guy is super fun at parties. He's the guy that you kind of like, when he talks, you're like, "Eh, there's always one. Steve King. At the HOA meetings. I remember his name. He's He's uh, going bye-bye. He's the Dan's get fucked of the week. Get fucked, Steve King. There it is. What a piece of shit, dude. How? how, Oh, my God. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Um, and, the, and the fact that they give people like that a, just a platform to come out and share their thoughts. Anybody can fucking just run for office and get elected. Yep. A- AOC was a there you fucking go. bartender. Now she's a goddamn member of Congress. Yeah. And oh, by the way, did you see a uh, story came out today where um, none of the money that she's raised for her campaign came from inside of her district? Did you see that? Oh, of course. Yeah. 
Uh, that that's not shocking to me yeah, whatsoever. I think they kind of touched on that in the documentary. Even. Yeah, where it's just like, it, hey man, uh, all of these di- she was people getting, running in these different yeah. districts. Yeah, um, there was one in Georgia too, uh, in my district where I grew up in, and the Democrats had flooded this guy with like eleven million. It's like this coalition, this. and they got together yep. all these people, and they like get behind them. What do you think and, about money in politics, Jesse? What do you mean? I like money. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> money in politics? Did you just quote is the, Dax Shepard in Idiocracy? Yeah. The, uh, money in politics. I like money. It is the, it is the problem, right? It yeah. It is the fundamental. But there, if you're, you you're trace never going to get to, rid of it. You're never going to get rid of it, but if you I don't want to quote Bernie or anything. If but. you can buy influence. Yes. That seems problematic to me. It is the... Uh, yeah, it is the the, uh, crooks, the crookstone of our society. The corruption, yes, is the problem <laughs> with modern politics. Is money, and it, that will never ever end. No, I don't know. Same with the Epstein thing. What, that's that's why he was allowed in so many political circles and all of that other shit was because of the he money. Had money to fund people. Who are so. the other? I mean, there's got to be other examples of folks who have because of their wealth. I mean, well, it happens because of talent, like Polanski, for example. Was doing oh, yeah. all kinds of fucked up shit, and people just yep. let that go down. And yeah. Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein. I, I think Weinstein was more of a power thing than Miramax's success, probably. Well, everybody slept on the fact that uh, Woody <clears throat> Allen is married to his stepdaughter. Yeah, and there's that. There's that is still going on. People don't Talent, talk about how money. Tom Brady open mouth kisses his kids. No, yep. they should. Yeah, they should. Uh, speaking of mouths and faces, Amazon's facial recognition software, recognition. That's a, that's a really clever it's name. It's recognition with a K, though. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Ugh, that's terrible. Oh, yeah. Because they're super... That's kind of racist. Tra- uh, oh. Can now spot <laughs> <What>? fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they taught, these, they taught the facial recognition software to be able to spot fear. Now, I can't think of any way this might go wrong, right? No, not at all. So they're Have using seen- it in like stadiums, things like this? I don't know. I mean, it's, they're using... Well, the police are using this. Now, okay. this facial recognition software recognition that Amazon makes, they're mm-hmm. using it for various stuff. Um, I, I don't know that that's a good idea for them to even be using facial recognition stuff. Like, look, if, if you think it's a good idea to put limitations on what type of weapons people can own, which I agree with, we shouldn't be driving tanks down the street or having access to nukes and shit like that. There has to be a limit to what the government can use as well on its own citizens. Uh, and right. this, this is one of those things for me. I don't, I don't like this. Yeah, that's a bad <clears throat> road to go down. Yeah. But how, w- how are they wanting to use it? Let's not say like how, oh, okay. Who knows, right? I Who mean, knows? I mean, know. it always starts out to protect yeah. and then turns mm-hmm. into The other part control. of this is, have you seen the latest Boston Dynamics videos? They have this robot standing up on a box oh, yeah. and they're like, throwing shit at it and hitting it with hockey sticks for some reason. Yeah. Oh, these guys all from Boston, I guess. <laughs> super big fans of the NHL. Yeah. They're like hitting this thing with hockey sticks and throwing shit at it. And they're teaching it to, uh, to deal with that kind of situation. They're training it to fight. Right. And now they're teaching it to recognize fear. Yep. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, the next like how thing, much, how, what are we going to do here? The next thing, the robot's going to be training them how to fucking feed them. So. Yeah. Because that's, that's it. They're going to become their, how their pets. How long do you think it is before they just put a dick on this thing oh i'm sure they're doing it now they're putting uh chimpanzee faces on humans over in china so i'm sorry yeah i think they're what? uh they're combining dna uh chimpanzee dna with humans over in china right now that doctor just got killed for that Ooh. yeah that's a that's a really interesting thing though planet of the apes like man. all the weird shit that um you can dream up that organizations within the united states and other western countries stop people from doing like look you can't clone people I guarantee goddamn to you China's doing that. Yes. Absolutely. 100%. So Absolutely. Why, look, here, that's the whole thing with, uh, with nuclear weapons. Look, it's unfortunate that that exists, and that's a reality, but it is a reality. And part of the Cold War theory of MAD, mutually assured destruction, is that everybody's got it. Nobody wants to use it because it's such a powerful weapon. If China is over there cloning people and doing weird shit like that, we need to be doing it too. You know how we they, need to have our own chimpanzee army. Yep. Like ASAP. You know how China's getting away with it, though, right? Uh, the, it's China. They all look alike. Nailed it. Um, kidding. Uh, China, Chinese people don't all look alike. Well, not according know, to like, uh, Freddie Wong. He said that Asians are pretty homogenous. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I just don't know how that applies here. Uh, me neither. Um, but I know we'll be hungry an hour later. Casual uh. racism. <laughs> Racism against Asians is universal. Is always a welcome. Uh, you know what else is welcome? You're welcome for my service is now on sale. If you order it today, it'll be at your house. It's not called that. It's not. It's called thank you for your service. Thank, thank, thank you for, you my, for service. my service. Yep. Who and knows? it should be called. I did not write the title, ironically. <laughs> it was changed. Um, no, thank you for my service is, is uh, now on sale. And if you order it today through Amazon, ironically. It'll be at your house Tuesday morning or mid-afternoon. Wow. You'll be able to kick your feet up and enjoy some of the finest literature mm. ever written. I've already read it, but I just found what well, I didn't find. I just moved into my new place, and it has nice, large bathtubs in it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there, and uh, I'm going to drop a CBD bath bomb in there. I didn't and know then I'm where the fuck any of that was going. But relax. Go. Yeah. Let me finish you my relax. fucking story. If you tell me to fucking calm down. Well, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick my feet up, spread eagle, in that <laughs> okay. thing, and read Matt's okay. book in the big bath. Oh, Here yeah. it is. Oh, there we Here's go. Here's the finished hardback copy. Uh, thank you for my service. Is now available. Uh, super close to the New York Times bestseller list. So if you can buy a copy, yeah. in hardback. Uh, that's that's our our. A route to get there. Yeah, what um, we really want to do is knock Michelle Obama off that number one slot. Yep. So uh, she's currently at one or two right now, yeah. and uh, it would be awesome to see a drinking bro and uh, Matt Best. We can ahead do it. I feel Obama. like. I think so. I think so. I mean, so. there's three hundred thousand of you assholes out there listening to this right now. And we have the party uh, at Olive Garden for the thirtieth. Yes. Tentatively. If, uh, if if we make the New York Times, we make. I'm sorry. What? Yep. Uh, I'll tell you about it later. Jesse will fill you in later. So, you're welcome, Dan. <sighs> yeah. I just find you a bruiser because no, you can't I come d- along. Now I just want to fucking go to the Olive Garden. Can we yeah, do that well, after we, the show? We can't. I would love to. God we can't. fucking damn it. I don't even know why oh. I'm alive. So, Jesse, <laughs> I'll, 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 we'll, we'll tell you on it. Jesse uh, booked a private room at the Olive Garden. Oh, shit. If we you make, have a private room? Yes. <laughs> Are you having to bring your own walls in there? What the yeah, fuck? So, if, <laughs> if this makes the. I have a family room and I booked it. I found out live on Aaron Ross Patterson Revolution uh, podcast. She goes, Look, if this makes it, I, I just wanted to let you know I booked a private room at the Olive Garden. So, it's Garden either going to be the most depressing thing of all time? Yeah, to celebrate being on the New York Times bestseller list, it's either going to be the greatest night ever. Or it's going to be the most the worst. depressing. Yeah. Either way, we're drinking Chianti. Yep. I'm going to get into those breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dan. So, <laughs> thank you. Please uh, buy a hard copy of the book. I promise it's worth it. It's great. Uh, for Danthony, Danthony Holloway, Jesse Wiseman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the fake news. Good night, everyone. Next time, Top of Stacey, we're going to get to you next time. Do 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 do